Hey guys, what's up? Joe here. And I am extremely pissed off and extremely ecstatic at the same time. I'm pissed off because I had just done two whole recordings, a tutorial and another one. Then I realized my mic was muted. So, it didn't work out too well. But, um, I am extremely ecstatic because I just got a letter in the mail stating I got accepted to the university I applied for for fall. Which is good and bad news in itself. Good news, I'll be able to finish my teaching degree, get licensed, and get a job. And the bad news is, there'll be less videos come fall. So, I hope you can bear with me. <laughs> I'll be busy. But, um, I have an associate's in biology with a minor in psychology, and I'm going for teaching. And I'll be able to get my certification in student teaching and all that garb done. Um, at this university. So, I am really happy. And I'll be able to get a, a really cheap ski pass. That's also really good, too. Because I'm broke. I'm really broke now. And I will be right back. My phone is ringing. Okay, sorry about that. I had to answer my... Yeah, I'm recording. I had to answer as my sister. She's been away from home for like a half month visiting her boyfriend. He just came back from Afghanistan. He was over there in the Marine Corps um, since last September. And he's home safe for now. I think he gets redeployed in eight months or so. But it's eight months. He's home at least. So, anyways, um, what am I going to do? Oh, yeah, farming. I want to do a little farming tutorial for you guys. I don't really use it. Um, you can use it for the potions which are useful, which is what I use it for, and that's really about all I use it for. So you make potions, you need... The biggest thing you need is bottles. And an alchemy station. To make an alchemy station, you put said bottle on said crafting table. I put two, because I'm awesome. And then you need mushrooms, no, I'll go get the stuff, I suppose. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Where the hell did I put them? Bottles. Shrooms. Shrooms. I think that's it. Oh, and we got gel. So the main potions I make are the healing potions. And to do that... Would be, I mean, the the super healing potions. Not super, but I mean, the normal ones. They, they restore 200 versus these restoring 100. And they take shroom, goo, and bottle. So, shroom, goo, bottle. Hold down the right click. Okay, we got some there. And then to make the super potions, you make two, and then one glowing mushroom. And just hold down the right click. And you got super potions. They restore 200 each. These restore... The other ones restore 100 each. And I got a question about how to glow... Glow growing mushrooms. Yep, I did that on the first tutorial too when I wasn't even recording my voice. Grow glowing mushrooms. Um, it's easy. You just can't do it up here. Like my normal mushroom farm. I got vile mushrooms here. And my normal ones are over here. There they are. They're growing. And to get to the normal ones, you can either just connect some grass to this whole setup, or you can buy grass seeds from Z Speech, and she will sell you them for I think like 20 copper each. I don't know. But what I have down here is deathweed. To grow deathweed, you need to have um, what is this shit? Ebstone. You need, and my bunny guard, I guess. You need ebstone. Um, you can harvest it whenever, but if you want seeds, you need to harvest it during a blood moon. This is just that glow weed, whatever the hell it's called. I don't even know what it's used for. I just grow them. And then this is a spare one for when I decide to use it. And then we go down to the glowing mushrooms. Now, the glowing mushrooms are different because they grow on mud, for starters. And they can only grow below the level of which grass does not, which would be that line right there. You can't plant them above that, they won't grow. Or spread. So you just place the mud down, you place your wild 
your mushroom grass seeds. I was going to say wild mushroom spore. I don't even know why. And they will grow over time. If you want to grow the super giant mushrooms, um, you'll need a different setup than this because they have no room to grow up. You'd need a box. That's basically all you really need to make sure is you have mud and you're below the grass level. Um, I don't really know an easy way to find it. Just dig down and wait for the grass to spread where it stops spreading. Plant below that line. <laughs> um, that's basically it. And it's pretty easy. Those are the main things I farm. But uh, you can do the other stuff too. I couldn't really tell you how to grow it because I didn't really grow it. I just grow the vile mushrooms for the vile powder. And you're still here. Vile mushrooms from vile powder and the regular mushrooms from my healing potions so I can do super awesome things. Like kill shit. And what other homegrown disasters do I have? Oh, my jungle. We'll go check on my jungle. I made a homemade jungle. You make them by, uh, again, mud. That's one of the key factors of you know you're by the underground jungle. Actually, it's above ground now in the new version. Um, oh, my clothier is getting raped. Rape is offensive, though. I shouldn't say it. Um, I'm, um, but yeah, you grow this by... I did, actually didn't know the trees could grow. That's really awesome. By getting jungle seeds. Maybe you will... Yeah, okay. There's some there. And I just got some. You plant these on mud, a jungle will grow. And I've seen snatchers, I've seen jungle bats and jungle slimes up here. So, that's useful for that. You can get the vines from... The vines are pretty rare, but I mean... I guess it technically saves you a trip. I would just go down to the jungle honestly. But that's basically it. I'm gonna go sell those seeds because I don't really need them. Bunny slaughter. Um, I have a pair of these so I'll sell them. Sell you. I don't really want to sell them. Where are they? There we go. 90 copper, that's it. Sell those. I have no room for these. Sell those. Extras. I've got like four of these, but I don't know why I don't sell them. Um, I need them. i got to make more bottles. Sorry for talking out loud. Okay, I think we're good. Four gold coins. Not bad. I am close to a platinum coin. I'm happy for that. Yeah, in the other recording I did, a goblin army finally came, and then I recorded it, went through everything, what happens, and I found out it was muted the whole time. So, hopefully another one will come up and I can show you guys how to do it. It's not hard. They just come and swarm you, and you need to not die. And that's, that's about the gist of it. Not rocket science. But you get rocket boots. Ooh, good catch. Yes, you do get the rocket boots and that harpoon I sold you also get from the goblin army when they fight and they come. But I think that's it. If you guys have any other questions for farming, let me know and I'll do my best to get them answered for you. Uh, either video or message. If you do have a question, send me a private message. I've been getting them. Comment on the video. If this video helped you guys, give it a thumbs up. If it didn't, give it a thumbs up anyways, and you'll be my best friend for a week or so. And uh, follow me on Twitter. I'm going to be doing some Twitter-only giveaways and contests and announcements and stuff. I won't put them on here. But I've been using it lately to say when my videos are up, what's coming up, what's uploading, all that fun stuff. And uh, you can also follow... Is uh, Terraria Blue on Twitter? He gives some leaks on his tweets of what's coming up. Um, I know one for a fact is we will have an ammo column over here. Or over here, you can put musket balls and arrows and stuff in, so they're not in your inventory, which is pretty nice. But um, yeah, that's basically it. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.